Good morning. Genesis 2.18 says that the Lord God said it is not good for the man to be alone. You see, after God had created Adam, he had not yet created Eve. And you have in Genesis 2, Adam in perfect relationship with God, with the world around him, within himself. And he's in perfect relationship with all this. This is before sin entered the world. And yet God looks on him and says, that's not good. Now it's interesting if you think about one of the implications of this. Oftentimes we can have this mindset in Christianity or in the church that, you know, what really matters in life is me and Jesus. You know, my relationship with God, that's what's really important. And if I have that, and if that's in place, everything else is good. Now, I don't want to minimize that at all because your relationship with God is incredibly significant. And if everything else is going great in life, but that's not, then you have serious issues. But it is interesting that in Genesis 2, God himself says that the just me and Jesus kind of mindset is not enough. That we need other people around us. And so what I want to do this morning is just identify for you that sense of isolation, that longing and aching you feel to be with other people, part of that comes from the fact that you were made in the image of God. And as an image bearer, it is not good for you to be alone. And so what we understand from the scriptures and from Christian theology throughout the centuries is that God is a trinity. You have Father, Son, and Spirit. There's one God, but three persons of the Godhead. And so God has for all eternity been in perfect relationship, perfect community within himself. And so when he creates us, human beings, in his image, we are created as inherently relational and communal beings. You know, we oftentimes glorify kind of the John Wayne, Lone Ranger, kind of make it on my own kind of person. But really, we cannot do that. Even if you're an introvert, you still need other people. We all do. And so what I want to do this morning is just remind you that the way you were made, the way you were wired is for other people. And what we're sensing now in this age of social distancing and self-quarantine is the effects of what happens to us when we are forced to separate from all other humans and all other community. So I'd encourage you just to embrace that part of yourself and embrace the fact that you need other people. And so as much as you can, until we're able to gather again and see others more regularly, I'd encourage you to make specific attempts to call people, text people, FaceTime, Zoom call, do whatever it is you can to stay as connected as possible. And that might help minimize, but not do away entirely with that need for relationship that we all have. All right, well, thanks for watching this one, guys, and we'll see you next time.